Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm your trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP USD British Pound US dollar for 22nd April 2021. This analysis is for 22nd April only. You'll see me tomorrow again with the analysis for 23rd April. So please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist for the analysis of other currency pairs. So let's get started. So this is the chart of GBP USD and as you can see on the screen I am using the 4 hours time frame for the most beloved time frame in the forex trading and as you can see after uh, this good up run market reverse from here and if you have watched my previous video then hopefully you have made a good profit uh, by shorting the market hey, here or here and you have earned around uh, 40 to 50 pips because I showed you that we have a good resistance in this level and as expected market did reverse from here okay so so we had a good opportunity short the market and hopefully you all have made money so if you are looking for a fresh opportunity or fresh trading window then what we should do let's find out So this is the overall chart of GBP USD and as you can see on the screen there is no proper trend on the screen. Uh, GBP USD is kind of in a sideways range. Therefore we need to short the market at the resistance and go for buying opportunities at the support level. As the market is not trending. Okay. So as of now we have got two levels in front of us. If this is the, uh, let me change the color. This red line, okay. This red line is the this is support, and this black line is the resistance. Okay, so you can also draw uh, these lines. So it will be easier for you to trade. Okay. So what should be a strategy then? Okay. Right now, market is trading here. So do you think it is ideal position to buy or short the market? Hell no. This is not the right place to buy or short the market because if you buy here, if you buy here, where will be your stop loss? Your stop loss will be here. Okay, your stop loss will be here, but this is not a proper support. Okay, this is not a proper support. Therefore, if you put your stop loss, this will be a very risky position and you do not have any proper logic to keep your or put your stop loss here. And if you put your stop loss here, then your stop loss is too far away too much far away from this uh, current market position on the other hand if you short the market again you'll have to put the stop loss here again you are taking a bigger risk therefore this is not the ideal position as i always say you should always look for the area of value try to find the area of value before executing the order so if you are buying then your area of value will be near the support and if you are selling and your area of value will be near the resistance and as of now we are in the middle okay so this is not the trading spot for us so our trading spot will be as mentioned either in this level or in this level so if market goes up okay if market goes up and hits this particular level again 1.4000 level then you can short the market if you see that market is reversing from this price range again because as i've already shown you and in my previous videos also i have already mentioned a couple of times that yes this level is very very crucial for gbp usd so if you see that price is going up and it is struggling at this level then you can short the market again to make some money on the other hand if market goes down and reaches this level just observe the price try to understand the market psychology yes in my every video i focus on the word market psychology because market understanding the market psychology is the main thing because we all know how to trade candlestick patterns indicators and all but still uh 90 traders lose money because they fail to understand the market psychology Understanding the market psychology is the main thing. Okay, so 
when if market goes down and reaches this level then you just observe the price how the price is doing if you see that price is reversing from here okay price is reversing from here then wait for the confirmation confirmation can be in the form of a hammer price rejection from below or a green candle like this once you get the confirmation that yes price is not ready to go down this level this is a still a valid support for the market okay in that case you can go for a buy just above this level or around 1.3700 level so this is what you can do okay now let's switch to the weekly time frame okay in the weekly time frame you can see the market has formed a green candle and yes market has another level here in the form of a pivot and that is this line okay let's find out this level all right all right okay we have a new level here we have a new level here okay and that level is 1.3758 so this is this is a support in the weekly chart okay so in case you get the market at this level also you can go for a buy but do re huh, do remember that before placing the buy order wait for the market to reverse from here you'll see that uh, price is not ready to go down or price will form a candlestick pattern like this then it will be a clear indication that yes support is valid market is respecting the support and you can go for a buy okay so this is your support one this is your support two and this is your resistance therefore if market goes up and price struggles here and reverses short the market if market comes down okay if market comes down and hits this support and if market reverses from here you can go for buying order on the other hand if market crosses this level okay do not short the market do not short the market because we have a support again at this level okay. and look for buying opportunity at this level but this level should provide the support okay so as of now market is trading in between this range so let's see okay so if you have missed the opportunity yesterday then wait for some time you'll get the opportunity again so this is it hopefully you have understood and if you've liked the video and found the video informative Please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. Thank you so much. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.